Most medical professionals will agree that most kidney issues are seen with diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. And the trouble is that a lot of people kind of believe that, oh, this is a genetic situation, and these are just kind of the cards that I was dealt. But just because you have type 2 diabetes, that doesn't mean that, oh, I get to have kidney trouble too because this disease that I have been diagnosed with comes along with these extra bonus situations that can happen. What's going on when we have type 2 diabetes is that it's not a name to an issue that's causing all these troubles, it's because the sugar in the blood is too high. And when sugar goes too high, in almost all cases, that's going to be because the body's not processing those sugars correctly because the person has become insulin resistant. So it's the insulin not working as well that's causing this sugar to go too high and create all this trouble. And I'm gonna put some links to some research in the description below where they've discovered that high blood sugar levels can affect the blood vessels in the kidneys and cause the kidneys not to function correctly. We also see that when blood sugar goes really high that we can see sugar in the urine. When a person just pees on a little dipstick, they can see, oh, there's glucose there and we're really not supposed to have glucose in the urine. So if there's so much glucose in this system that it's actually having to be peed out by the kidneys, then you can see that even if high blood sugar is causing problem for the kidneys, that if the kidneys got to take care of peeing some of it out, that could be really problematic. The great news is that nobody's holding a gun to your head and shoving a donut in your face. You're allowed to consume fewer carbohydrates, fewer sugars, fewer liquid sugars, and you're allowed to bring that insulin down so your body can be more receptive 